Hello friends, today we are going to know about a new module and that is Marketplace Vendor Attribute Manager for Magento 2. Now this is an add-on for WebCool Magento 2 Marketplace. By the help of this add-on, the admin can create custom attributes which will, which will be displayed on the vendor registration page. The seller will enter the values of the custom attributes and then it will be displayed on the seller profile page as well. The admin and the seller can also update or edit their entered value for this custom fields from their seller profile page and the admin can also update it from the admin panel. Now let's come to the installation of this module. Once you have downloaded the module from a store, you will be getting it in a zipped format. Just unzip it and then you will be getting the module folder. Click on the module folder, you will be getting the src folder click on the src folder and then you will be getting the app folder just upload the app folder into your magento 2 root directory and then you are done with the installation part now let's move to the admin part now this is my admin panel so just follow the path we will go to store configuration now just go to this menu and go to marketplace and then go to vendor attribute setting so here you can just visible on registration you can set it at yes or no visible on profile set it as yes or no file display on vendor profile image display on vendor profile allowed image extension allowed file extension and seller profile label so this is just the random label and then you have to just save this configuration now go to marketplace management and then you will be getting vendor attribute manager so just click here Now you can see that already we have created various attribute custom attributes so you can see the id you can see the code you can see the label you can see is it required show in front end and from here you can edit it now you can also select the attributes and from here you can delete it or manage display field so you can display on profile or you can hide from seller profile so now we will show you how to add a new attribute for the seller registration page so just click on add attribute button and now you can see a new page so i will just enter a default label suppose we do label then I will make it drop down value required no sort order zero now I will add option so the option which the seller can select from this drop down so the first I can put test and whatever store view you create for that these are just the random options So now we have created and now we will save the attribute from here. So it's written, see you can use only small letter. So we have to change it. 
and now it is getting saved. Now you can see you save the vendor attribute. So this was the attribute level which we created. So now we will manage the option. So we will click here to edit this particular attribute. And you will go to manage label. And you will save the attribute. Now again you can see you will see this message. You save the vendor attribute. And again, we have just displayed it on the seller profile as well. So now let's now let's move to the seller panel and see how the seller can register. Now this is the front end. So here you can see vendor registration. So click here. And then you can see the customer form. So let's fill all the detail so these are the already created so this was the label which I created video label so I have selected marketplace video text vendor area Now I will enter all the fields. Make sure you have a strong password as well. And now I will create an account. Now after the registration, the seller will see the seller menu here. So he will click on seller profile menu again. And then from the seller profile menu, he can even update or edit the attribute fields. So just scroll down and you can see the vendor attribute. So this was the label which was set from the admin panel. So from here, the seller can even edit the values of the attributes which he entered from the registration page. So you can see the image uploaded, the PDF uploaded. You can download and you can just see or you can even down, browse and upload any other PDF if you want. You can delete this particular image and you can upload a new one. So the, from here, you can edit the values of the custom attribute fields on the registration page. So now let's move to the admin panel again. Now this is my admin panel. So just go through the seller. We have created Peter Myers. So again, we will just click on the seller name and a new page will open. Now you can see the page is opening. So 
So now just scroll down a bit and then you can see seller account information. So just and then you can see vendor attribute fields. So from here you can see the additional custom attributes which the admin has created from the admin end and it was displayed on the seller regist uh, registration page and the seller has input their data so the admin can see what data the seller has input and if the admin won't he can also change so i will just save on this particular customer and now you can see whatever details i have saved now those are displaying so this is all about this particular module if you have any doubt regarding this module you can just raise a support ticket at support at webcool.com